Hey guys, today we have a uh, 2007 Audi A6. Came in with the uh, radio screen flashing. Uh, the radio would turn on for a split second. Uh, I'll post a video of that. I'll show you in a second, but it would turn on for a split second uh, and then it would go off. Like six months ago, we diagnosed this for the customer and the issue ended up being the amplifier, which is back here. So, what we did for the time being is we put on a fiber optic loop so his there was no sound but the screen on the radio would actually work so he tells us a week later um that even with a fiber optic loop uh, the same thing started happening again so he wasn't ready to bring it back to get it diagnosed um he brought it back six months later we did get an amplifier for him so now with the new with the old amplifier the radio wouldn't even come on at all with the new one it would come on for a few seconds and uh it would play the music and shut right off again so what we did um, i'll show you a full diagnostic on you know if you're having an issue with one of these modules i'll show you what you have to do so i'll go over every module that's in the system you have the satellite radio, you have the navigation, you have the radio, digital sound control module, which is the amp, and the telephone transceiver. On the right side of the system, and then on the left side of the system, you have the data bus onboard diagnostic interface, front inter information display control head, CD changer position 1, and CD changer position 2. So, to make this simple for you... Um, in the trunk, you're going to have the first four modules that are on the right-hand side, right? Besides the telephone transceiver. So the first four modules being, this is your satellite uh, radio. This is your radio receiver. This is your amp up top. And this is your navigation. Now... On the underneath the passenger seat, you have the telephone transceiver, and oh, you're gonna have to move the seat. It's right down here. Anyway, um, so we covered all the modules on the right hand side. On the left hand side, all the modules are literally under the glove box. So. We'll go over them with you. Now, here, I'll show you from the glove box itself. Towards the end there, you have CD player position one and CD player position two, right here. When you open up the glove box, you'll be able to see them in both corners. Now, that covers the two bottom modules on the left side there's two other modules the data bus onboard diagnostic interface and the front information display control head so this is the diagnostic module i have the flex ray uh, out of it and this is the front information display control head now in theory this should be pretty simple what you do is you gain access to all these modules i recommend the ones in the front in the back first in the trunk area because they're typically the ones most likely to break down so you unplug the fiber optic cable you plug in the loop just like this and theoretically depending on whichever module you disable well, let's say you disable the satellite radio your radio should still work because the radio receiver and the amplifier is still in place you're just not going to have a satellite radio you, you unplug the gps and same thing is going to happen over and over again you're not going to have gps and so forth now the issue that happens with these if your problem is not a, one of the easy modules in the back um the telephone module you're just going to lose bluetooth connectivity so that's not a big deal either but once you get into the um 
these two modules i want to go over the cd changer is just the cd changer is not going to work so that's not a big deal either um once you get into these two modules they're a little tricky because if you plug in the loop the, your screen is not going to work either way because these modules the front information display control head is the module that provides all the information for the mmi screen here and the data bus on board is the the gateway module so without that there's no there's no talking between the modules so if your issue was with one of these two then uh, the problem gets a little bit more complicated and then i'll show you how to figure it out so if you have my luck and your issue is probably one of these modules right um let's see now the easiest way to diagnose them you want to know the diagrams tell you very well where the wires so all these wires are connected in series right anytime you pull out these wiring diagrams i've seen that they're not always correct and you're gonna have to do your own testing but in this one they were very correct now the way it works is we go from cd the fiber optic loop the cables they go from cd player position two they come out they go to cd player position one and so forth now um if any of these modules is blocking down communication because they're all connected in series in out in out in out uh, one module is not going to work so what these fiber optic cables do to make it easy on you guys they just their whole job is to transmit light that's it that's why they're fiber optic cables so Theoretically, if you turn on your lights on this cable, with well, this is a CD changer position one, right? And you unplug the front information display control head. If you shine, shine light at this connector, ideally you should see light come out of this connector if the wire is working properly. So let's do that. Let me unplug this. Actually, I already have it unplugged. Now look, you see the light shining from there? I take out this, the light from here, there's no more light. There's still some light shining from the sun exposure, but um, ideally there shouldn't be any light. Let's see, let me see. I think there's sun exposure on this side. So, let me hide this. Now look at that barely any light there's still some sun exposure left but barely any light now what that tells us is that the connection from cd changer unit position one to the front information display control head is fine as far as wiring goes so now what we can do to test out the module first you want to make sure all the main wires to the module are plugged in, right? And all you want to have unplugged is the fiber optic loop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this in now. And then when I plug it in, I'll show you guys uh, what happens. So now that I have it plugged in up there, as you can see, theoretically speaking, if all the other wires, the powers and grounds to the module and everything else is plugged in. The module should have no reason to not allow light to go through. So if you're shining light at this connector here and the light is going through the module and coming out, we should be able to see it. So it comes out at the data bus on board diagnostic interface. So the gateway module, this is the connector here for the gateway module. I have it unplugged and this is the gateway module like we mentioned earlier. So, if I shine light at the CD player position one, we should see light come out of here. And guess what? There is no light coming out. I have light here, but no light here. Now, another test we could do, just to verify that this is correct. Let's see. On the other side, at the diagnostic interface, we have the satellite radio right so the satellite radio brings light directly to it and then the navigation system brings light to the satellite radio so what we're going to do is we're going to make sure the satellite radio module is plugged in 
we're going to unplug the navigation system and then we're going to shine light there we should ideally see it through here on this same connector here right because that's how they're connected so let's do that and uh give it a try so there's a lot of sun reflection but i unplugged this connector here i unplugged it from the back it belongs to the navigation module this uh satellite radio connector is this one right here as you can see it's plugged in i'm shining light at it now we should be able to see light through the uh connector look at that the light is red because the module is actually online so when the module is online that's the light that you'll see uh, you'll see a red light instead of a white light now which means our satellite module satellite radio modules allowing light to come through and the um this connection here is fine so there go our diagnostic this module here is no good we've ran these same tests on every single module and every module's passed fine now if you want to buy i mean do the best way to go if you're just starting to diagnose these you could cut like the system halfway and then verify so if you shine light here shine your own light and you unplug here and you see light come out the other end and that's how you know all these modules are actually good so we had an issue I mean, the fiber optic loop is the easiest way to go. But if you have an issue like we did, then uh, this is what you're going to have to do. This was our problem, this module, because when you saw we shine light through here and the light did not come out the other end, theoretically speaking, the light you shine through here should come out there with no problem. But in this case, it did not. So we know this module is no good. Now, just to verify once again, I'm going to take out the light. I take out the light from here. I put this boy somewhere where you can't really see it. No exposure to sunlight. Let me see. Look at that connector. Nothing. So there go our diagnostic. If you guys are having the same problem, um, this should give you all the information you need to properly diagnose it. So uh, I hope you like this video. Uh, please like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.